An offer to make a contract rarely arrives out of the blue. Parties typically talk first, but sometimes negotiations can result in an enforceable offer, even if the offerer didn't mean it to. The Supreme Court of Oregon considered just such a situation in 1978's Southworth v. Oliver. Joseph Oliver and his wife Arlene decided to sell part of their ranch land. In May of 1976, Joseph visited his neighbor, J.W. Southworth, who wanted the parcel in question. Southworth expressed interest in buying it. Oliver needed to set a price and other sale terms. Southworth said he'd arrange financing. Oliver also said he intended to discuss the sale of grazing permits with Clyde Holliday, another neighbor who was also interested in some of the land. On June 13th, Southworth telephoned Oliver, asking whether Oliver still intended to sell. Oliver confirmed that he did and was waiting on information from the assessor. Southworth then received a letter from the Olivers dated June 17th, stating they were selling 2,933 acres of land for $324,419. The letter proposed a 29% down payment and payment in other terms. Oliver later testified that he'd sent this letter to Holiday and two other neighbors. On June 21st, Southworth mailed an acceptance to the Olivers. The Olivers then wrote to Southworth on June 24th, clarifying that their first letter wasn't an offer to sell, but was intended to start negotiations between the Olivers and all interested neighbors. The Olivers asserted that no binding contract yet existed. Southworth then sued the Olivers in state court, alleging that a contract existed and seeking specific performance. The trial court ruled for Southworth. The Olivers appealed to the Supreme Court of Oregon. 